Hey, recap hour over here. Today we will be summarizing a 1971 American family comedy film called The Million Dollar Duck. Beware, spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. The story starts with Professor Albert Dudley, the protagonist of our story in the research facility. He has been studying animals for years and had been conducting intelligence tests on them. Albert was upset for a few days since his research was not progressing as planned and his expenses were due. But he didn't have the money to pay them. Albert has a lovely family including his wife Katie and their son Jimmy. One day Jimmy's friend showed him a puppy and Jimmy wanted a pet as well so he forced his father Albert to buy a puppy for him as well. But due to Albert's financial condition, he wasn't able to fulfill Jimmy's wishes. Katie was busy making applesauce to sell for a profit. However, she combined the two to three recipes from the book she was referring to and ended up creating something terrible. Concerned about the expenses and Katie's expensive attire, Albert confronted her. He suggested cutting back on those but Katie insisted on cutting back on Albert's lunchbox. She offered to make him lunch instead and we all know how amazing a cook she is. The next day Albert left for his laboratory carrying of course the lunchbox with apple sauce. He picked up his neighbor lawyer friend Fred on the way. Albert, on reaching the laboratory, dumped his food into a trash can which was next to cages housing a monkey and a duck for research purposes. The monkey finds his way inside Albert's stiffen and begins to eat. After consuming the sauce, the monkey began acting crazily and threw it near the duck's cage. The sauce was a hit with the duck and it started nibbling. Albert was putting significant work into that duck but before Albert could be credited for his efforts, the duck had to pass the IQ test. The duck fails the test despite his training. As the test reveals, the duck is afraid of dogs barking. The duck ran off and walked to the radiology room where it accidentally got exposed to gamma rays. Albert explains the situation to his seniors and asks them to give him one more chance but was denied. Instead, he was instructed to take out the duck. Unsure about what to do with the duck, Albert decides to keep it as a pet for his child, Jimmy. Jimmy accepted his new pet even if he didn't like it. The duck eventually made its way to Mr. Hooper's pool on his neighbor's property. The moment Mr. Hooper saw the duck in the pool, he began yelling at Jimmy and attempted to get the duck out of the water. In addition, Mr. Hooper's dog showed up at that moment and started barking at the duck. As soon as he heard all this commotion, Albert rushed to the duck's aid and protected it from both the dog and Hooper. After the incident at Mr. Hooper's pool, the duck complied with Jimmy's directions. Hence, Jimmy grew fond of the duck and gave him the name Charlie. When they got home, they saw the duck had laid eggs. Albert and Katie decide not to eat them because the duck was exposed to gamma rays. So they decided to bury the eggs. Jimmy would not allow them to bury the eggs since he was emotionally attached to the duck. So they decided to do it while he was asleep. So while Jimmy was sleeping, Albert walked to the yard to bury the egg. When Fred notices Albert digging, he inquires about it, but Albert ducked Fred by keeping the eggs a secret. While Fred returned home, Albert began digging. While excavating, one egg fell and broke. Albert detects something strange, almost metallic in this. So he investigates and discovers that it is some shining metal. Albert kept the incident a secret. The next day, he went to the lab and tested the purity of the gold. The results showed that the metal is pure gold with minor impurities of apple peel and other impurities. Albert rushed back to his lab and learned that the components of organic matter can change due to radiation, but they cannot be transformed into metal. This was merely a miracle. Albert was relieved that his suffering was coming to an end. Albert requests that Fred legalize this as well as all money converted after selling the gold so that it is not stolen by the government.
but Fred is skeptical and demands that Albert show him the genuine demo. When Albert and Fred arrive at Albert's house, they discover that the duck was missing because Katie gave it to the farmer who sells vegetables to them because she thought the duck was useless since they couldn't eat his eggs. What? This was Albert's reaction after finding out until Jimmy realized Charlie had gone missing and they all dashed to the farmer's house to retrieve their duck. The farmer agrees to return the duck to Albert for $5 and directs Albert to retrieve it from the barn. Albert, Fred, Katie and Jimmy dash to the barn to get their duck only to discover hundreds more similar ducks. They made several attempts to find Charlie. They tried everything including barking to get Charlie to run away from his fear of dogs but nothing worked. Jimmy walks regretfully outside the barn in grief over Charlie's loss and when he looks back he notices that Charlie is following him. Albert was overjoyed and he quickly demonstrated to Fred a practical example by making the duck lay an egg by barking because the duck lays an egg whenever he hears barking. Fred was taken aback when he saw the golden yolk. They returned home and began to plan how to make everything legal. Fred insisted on handling the legalities but they had to keep it a secret and refrain from spending any of the gold until he found a solution. Fred desired a stake in the golden yolk in exchange for all of this and Albert agreed. Albert did not spend gold but Fred did by buying new clothes and a sports car. Katie got a call one day about their overdrawn account and the possibility of going to jail if it wasn't cleared because this wasn't the first time this had happened. Katie goes with the duck's newly laid golden egg and tries to clear her overdraft but the bank rejects her proposal because they do not accept gold as payment. The bank manager insisted that you go to the refinery instead where you would be given cash in exchange for gold. Katie dashed to the refinery where she exchanged cash for gold. When Albert got home, he noticed Katie wearing an expensive hat and asked, where did you get this hat? When Katie told Albert about the incident, he was astounded. Katie explains to Albert how easy it was to exchange gold for money at the refinery. So they decided to exchange all the gold for money in the same way. They exchanged the gold at various different refineries across the state, giving rise to rumors that someone was making artificial gold and selling it in the market. On the other hand, Albert realized that the effect of radiation has a half-life which means it will have an effect someday and no new gold will be produced. The rumor spread so quickly that it reached multiple offices and eventually the White House, putting pressure on the FBI to resolve the issue. Albert's neighbor used to work in the Treasury Department, so they were given the task of investigating this. Albert was on the suspect list, so Mr. Hooper kept an eye on their home and eventually discovered the duck laying golden eggs. Mr. Hooper and his cops entered Albert's house to find the duck, but Jimmy notices that and flees out of his room's window with Charlie. Soon after, the officers, Albert and everyone else went in search of the duck and Jimmy. After a long chase, Jimmy and Albert are apprehended for keeping a gold egg-laying duck. After a complaint was filed against him, Albert was charged with keeping a gold egg-laying duck. When the judge asked Mr. Hooper to provide evidence, he began by barking, which caused the duck to lay an egg. Mr. Hooper, however, was unable to do so because his barking pitch was insufficient. So Albert began to create the barking sounds in order for the duck to lay an egg. Everyone was like, why is he doing this? The duck, however, soon lay an egg, which was presented to the magistrate. When the magistrate broke the egg, there was no trace of the golden yolk. Instead, it was a normal yolk because the half-time radiation had expired and the duck was back to normal. When all allegations against Albert were dropped, he had already acquired almost $40,000 from selling gold. With this money, they were able to live happily ever after. Rated 5.7 on IMDb, this movie tells a wonderful tale of how real feelings for your family will always find a way to overcome obstacles. It shows that if someone is going through a tough phase, they shouldn't give up since everyone has something to look forward to in life. What did you think about the movie? Tell us in the comment section below. Press the like button if you love the video. Do subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Thank you.